So today's video is going to be about something that is very important. Teething. I'm going to just get straight to it. Novo is six months now. He's been teething for months. However, two weeks ago, teeth just started coming straight through his gums. He was acting really, really fussy. and um, So I looked in his mouth and I saw two little white marks coming through his little gums. And I said, oh boy. This is what this is what it is. He's usually a funny kid. He likes to laugh. He's 23 pounds. He likes to eat all breast milk. Look at these. That's milk. We noticed that Noble was getting fussy. So this is a video letting you know from the jump. Once you see them two little teeth come through or the one little tooth come through, you have to take action. Because, yeah, it would have saved us a lot of stress, a lot of just ready to just, whew, teething is crazy. So, this video, I'm going to let y'all know how to prepare for teething, how y'all going to get through it, how you're going to fight through it. I'm going to show you the items that I use to highlight the ones that worked for me and the ones that did not. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, um, let me tell y'all got some teething, like some teething stories. So, the first item is the newbie. Everybody knows this, this classic, um, teething. We had this way before he was even born, so this was just something we just whipped out. My son hates this, and I'm not going to say he hates it because he it doesn't help his gums. I don't know. Something about when he gets this, and mind you, this is really this big here now, but it wasn't always like this. It just got like this because I cleaned it. I put it in boiling hot water, and I thought that you could do that with toys, but you can't, so this is how it looks. It doesn't matter how it looks. Even before this, he hated it. So, um, I would just make this cold for him, give it to him, and he would chew it. He would have it in his mouth, start, like, he likes this part of it. He would just, like, chew it, chew it, and then, like, try to, like, put these in his mouth. Then, I don't know what would, what, something would just click in his head. He would just start getting so mad, like, he would get tight, like, he would be so mad, like, chewing on these. He hated it. I don't know. It worked for a good two minutes just to like keep him distracted. But as far as soothing his gums, this don't work. This is like the most popular teething thing on Amazon right now. So I don't know. Maybe it does work for a lot of parents, but it didn't work. Next, this is a typical teething ring. Like this is just like a dollar store teething ring that I picked up one day. Or or I think somebody picked this up for us. This one I didn't buy. I think my boyfriend's mother might have picked this up. So it's literally like probably like a dollar. Um, put it in the refrigerator, freezer, make it cold, give it to him. He didn't like this either. So what I'm trying to like probably gather from this is that my son does not like teething ring. So he's like non-traditional. He's like a modern baby. He don't like the old school stuff. He like the new stuff, okay? All right, so this, no. Boom, this. It's a baby banana. So cute. So it has these little handles on the side that they can hold them easily. Because when he first got it, he wasn't like the best at picking stuff up and holding it. Like he could hold it once you put it in his hand. But as far as like keeping a good grip, he wasn't the best. So this helps um, like these on the side. And if you look closely, there's these little bristles. Almost like a little toothbrush, but made of like silicone, I guess. And on the bottom, there's these little holes. So don't mind me, I need a filling. I'm a mom, I don't get time to do shit. Anyway, so he loves this. I 100% recommend this product. Um, like I said, I'm not sponsored or anything by no companies because I'm a little ass YouTube person. I don't have no follow, like, I don't have nothing. So this I recommend, and this is 100% real for you for me. He loves this banana. Even if it's not cold, I don't even have to make this thing cold. He loves it. 
So I definitely recommend getting this off of Amazon. I think it was like, maybe like $7. Whatever it was, it was worth the price. Next, this, they, it is um, like a soothing gel and it's 100% organic and um, it doesn't have any medicine. There is a ingredient in some teething gels that I know they, they're, I think they might be taking off the market called benzocaine. It's like, um, it's like medicinal, not medicinal. Yeah, it has medicine in it. And they don't recommend that for babies because it could be like poisonous. Don't quote me, I don't know the real reason, but so that's why I wanted to go natural anyway. So these, there's one for nighttime, there's one for daytime. You can put it in the refrigerator to make it real cold so that we can put it on their gums and soothe them. However, boom, did not work. Didn't work. Nighttime didn't work, daytime didn't work, neither of them work. Okay, it was that simple. He liked the taste when I when we rub it on his gum. Like he's like, okay, what's this? But it didn't provide him any relief from the pain. So I'm just like, what is the point of this like is it just supposed to taste good because the nighttime one is like chamomile and the daytime one is like who knows either way didn't work boom this is a popular homeopathic teething remedy organic for babies of the new you know 2019 2020 these are popular and guess what i 100 percent stand by these i would give him one of these at night right before bed and they're 100 percent natural so you could actually give them up to like three in a 45 minute time span so the first time i gave it to him he was just like calm like okay like i don't know what it is maybe it's like a water with like some type of like from some type of fountain in like africa or like some like country but it has like healing in it so it looks like this this is what the packs look like. And then they come in like, you know, like the little, you just break it off, squeeze one thing in their mouth. And if that doesn't work in 15 minutes, you can just give them another one and that should probably do it. However, I did see some mothers say that it don't work for their child. Um, That's unfortunate because it worked for mine. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I don't know. But if you get a wet rag, say you don't want to try, this is like a little dirty but say you don't like want to like you know do all this extra stuff wet a rag one of the little baby rags put it in the freezer for like 20 minutes take it out give it to them and let them chew on it that actually helps because he likes to like even when i give him a bath and he's like he'll get the the rag from me and start like trying to suck the water out of it i don't know like i know that's probably bad but he likes to do that so um this is good for their gum too. So if you don't want to like go crazy trying to find something crazy or even take one of the little baby spoons that you give them baby food with, put that in the freezer, boom, you got yourself another little teasing thing. So you see how the banana, he loved it. Maybe if, if your child likes, doesn't like teasing things like mine and he just likes something to, or she likes something to chew on, maybe just put like a spoon or something like you know that they can bite down on but not hurt themselves ta-da so i'm missing one i actually don't know where this one this is the best thing this is actually by newbie the same brand that makes this this sucks for my child but this he loves it this is an ice um ice pop tray so i looked at the reviews on this and i'm like my son was not six months yet when he was going through this teething phase he was like five and a half so i said why would I buy this and put fruit, fruit like make like fruit pops myself and put it in there and give it to him? Cause he can't even drink juice or nothing like that yet. So I'm like, this is stupid. And then I read, but it had really good reviews. So I'm like, it gotta be something, you know what I'm saying? Cause kids teeth, they start teething from early, in like maybe like two months, depending on the kid. So, So I looked at the reviews and I saw one mom say that she puts breast milk in the tray, freezes it, and gives it to her son or her, her child as an ice pop. And I was like, wait a minute, my son is fat. He's a fat boy, so he loves breast milk. So I'm like, wait, if I freeze this and give it to him and it's cold and it's on his gums, this should work. And I was so excited to try it, y'all. Gave it to him. 
loved it loved it loved it he he just like the in the moment he got it he just so let me show you what it looks like this is what it looks like once you freeze it breast milk whatever um and it's, it just comes out like an ice pop and they um they don't take that long to freeze probably like four hours but uh, even when he finishes the breast milk off of it, just this alone, cold, he loves it. Like, he was just still, like, and it's it's a good material, maybe, like, silicone or plastic. Probably not plastic, it's probably silicone. But it, it doesn't hurt his gums. Like, he doesn't, like, bite on it the wrong way and hurt himself like he does with some other things. So that's why I like these, too, because you don't even have to have breast milk on it. The only con that I will say to this is it's hard to pull it out once it's frozen it's like you i like to run it under like hot water and then pull it out but it's really hard to like get them out and another con is like pumping breast milk when you're like with the baby all day is so aggravating um that's probably like another video i'll make but trying to like pump out like breast milk like to to fill these up it's only probably like i don't need like four ounces it's just annoying when you gotta like run and do it. That's the only cons to it. Otherwise, this is my favorite teething product. I don't have any other tips for teething other than parents hang in there. And I'm sorry, if you notice this little spot in the middle of my chest, this is because I used to have a, a dermal piercing. One day it just rejected because I spilled some ginger ale in it and it just popped. It left a scar. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get redone. I'm just gonna get it redone. If you like the information that I gave you in this video, please like and comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I definitely appreciate all your comments on my last video. And I'm so happy that some of y'all actually went to labor because of my last video. The castor oil, oh my God, that shit is the truth. Anyways, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm gonna try to post another video next week um, about some parenting stuff. If y'all could just tell me some content that y'all would like to see. Like I said, I know I only have a little bit of subscribers, but if y'all, if all 40 something of y'all wanna tell me what y'all wanna see from me, I'll definitely do it. Thank y'all. Love you.